How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to give you an overview and also a quick setup guide on the new iPadOS mouse and trackpad support that was just released in iPadOS 13.4. And the coolest thing about this is that as you can see, you can do you can do this on any iPad running iPad OS. You don't need the new iPad Pro or anything like that to have mouse and trackpad support. I'm using a regular iPad 7th generation and I'm doing it. And um, if you are familiar with the mouse support that regular iPad OS, iPad OS 13 used to have, you will realize this is much different. Um, as you guys can see, the pointer is different. It is pretty much the tip of your finger. Um, everything that you, you put your mouse on top of, it's gonna actually be highlighted, as you guys can see right there. Every single thing that you can interact with is gonna be highlighted. So this is actual mouse support. That's not an accessibility thing, no. It's gonna be right here, right within your Bluetooth settings. I'm gonna show you at the end how you can set it up and everything. Here, I'm just gonna give you first this overview. So um, as you guys also can see, I can use multiple buttons as well right here. Um, of course, depending if you're using a trackpad, is going to be gestures if you're using a mouse it's going to be different buttons so then i have this mapped out for uh for example if i'm here in notes i can use my right button to actually go back to home or if i'm back in notes i can use my scroll button uh, to get my docs as you guys can see uh, and, and, and of course double tap on the uh, right but it's gonna give you your multitasking screen so your app switcher and also uh, if you hold the left button since the right button since this is the home button you can actually invoke Siri as well so then look at how many commands you have just in a very very simple and basic mouse amazing now let's go back to notes very quickly and as you guys can see as soon as you have text uh, your pointer your cursor is gonna become a scrubber so you can easily select and highlight text very very easily like that for example uh, sorry if it seems a little bit jittery sometimes just because this uh, surface the table surface is not very good for regular mouse okay so sorry about that uh, and as you guys can see here as well you have all those buttons right here at the top and again every time you have a button um, you have the highlighted option so it's very very easy to choose something to tap on something very very easily now let's go back to settings very quickly because I want to show you all the customization you can have with the buttons and the mapping and everything like that so uh, your mouse is already connected right and then again I'm gonna show you how you can set up and connect in a few seconds so uh, if you go back to accessibility right here under settings okay here you're gonna have the pointer control right there at the bottom you can tap here and then you can have quite a lot of customization uh, you can have the uh, scrolling speed right here you can have point uh, uh, pointer animation so uh, the changing bits and all uh, you can have the pointer size so you can change the size of your pointer of course you want to have the smaller I believe it's gonna look much better you have color automatically hide pointer and increase contrast so it can be very, very light and dim, or it can be a little bit darker, I prefer like that. And also, if you tap here in assistive touch settings, um, then you can actually tap on the device itself, so on the Bluetooth mouse, uh, and then you can map the buttons. So as you guys can see, I have button one for single tap, button two for home, and button three for tap. So again, uh, button one would be the left button, so then the regular click, button, button two is the home button, and then of course, it can go to app switcher, Siri, and everything like that. And button three would be this little scroll wheel right here. So then obviously you can scroll normally, okay? That's one feature. And then you can actually tap and then you can have the uh, your normal dock. So just with a very basic, very simple mouse, you can actually do pretty much everything on your iPad. You just get an external keyboard right here and you're good to go. Obviously, you can do all of that and maybe even more with the Magic Trackpad that Apple sells separately. I don't have one here right now, so that's why I'm showing you with a regular Bluetooth mouse, okay? Just to show you that you can do a lot as well with a very, very cheap product. So now, let me show you how you can set up your mouse or your trackpad and you can actually do this on your iPad. Let's go. 
But before we continue, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Kaming, with their awesome 7-in-1 wireless charging premium AirPods case. This is truly amazing for your AirPods. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So first of all, it comes with this awesome travel case that you can use to store all your awesome accessories that come inside as well. So uh, as you guys can see right here on the right, you have the AirPods case itself. And of course, this is IP68 waterproof. My AirPods are already here inside. And then of course, we have the other accessories that I'm gonna show you very, very quickly, okay? So as you guys can see, it comes with a carabiner right here. So you can definitely uh, put on here or on there. And then you can definitely have uh, have it carry much better. Uh, you have the lanyard as well, which fits the same purpose of the carabiner, but you can obviously use one for this and one for that, and then you're good to go. Uh, and of course, it comes with AirPod hooks as well, which is great if you're very active or running, the AirPods will never fall out. And speaking about falling out, you also got the AirPods silicone strap. This is like sports straps. And of course, last but not least, we also have right here a cleaning accessory. So we have this cleaning brush right here, which you can use to clean the AirPods themselves. So then you can clean the AirPods the proper way, the correct way. And then of course you can clean the case uh, as well. You can clean it like that and then amazing. So then as you guys can see, this is a proper 100% complete uh, kit for your AirPods. And of course this is wireless charging compatible and it comes for the AirPods 1, 2 and of course the AirPods Pro as well. There you have it. Thank you very much again Kami for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to my video now guys. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your settings and make sure you're running iPadOS 13.4. Okay, so just go to software update and then wait if there's a new update or something. As you guys can see, iPadOS 13.4. As soon as you are in iPadOS 13.4, then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, as I said, all you have to do is go to your Bluetooth settings, normal, and then you're gonna uh, turn on your mouse. Keep in mind, you have to have uh, a Bluetooth mouse, not a Wi-Fi, one of those thumb stick, no, it's not Wi-Fi, it's not thumb stick, no, it's actual Bluetooth mouse, all right, or trackpad. Turn it on, okay, and then put it in parry mode. In my case, is this button right here, so I'm just gonna, this brown button right here, as you guys can see, so then, as you guys can see, other devices, Bluetooth mouse, tap on that, and then, um, is gonna connect automatically. So connect it and then you're good to go. That's all you have to do. And after that, of course, if you want, you can set up and map all the buttons as I showed you just a few minutes ago uh, and go back to accessibility and do all of that. Okay, you can just go ahead and customize as I showed you before. Uh, as stock, as standard, it's just gonna have the left button as the tap button. So not the home, dock or anything else. None of those are gonna be mapped at first so that's pretty much it guys if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button the subscribe button and also hit the comment box below i really appreciate that and i'll see you guys in a few days bye bye